Hi, welcome to the channel. My name is Magnus and today we're going to try to create a CLM, meaning we're going to try to create a log server for this specific domain. So on our drawing, it's these ones that we want to do. And I hope I will be able to do it because I've had some issues with licenses. So um, let's try it. And more or less you just right click in this one, in this blue one, the one that is marked, and then it will be created for the domain 6001. So we have changed it to log and then 192, 168, 1 and then 132. And it's working. <laughs> I did sit like 30 minutes to try to find out which which of the, the licenses should I use and I needed to restart the MDS and MLM to actually get this to work. Finally, um, it can be a lot of hassle to actually work with the demo licenses. I mean, Checkpoint doing a really good job to actually allow you to, to run the product for 15 days while you install it. And if you want to have a longer licenses like this, you actually need to go into a website and generate uh, licenses. I don't know if everyone can do it, but at least partners can do it. And then you get 30 days, but it's quite complicated on MDS to actually find which one you should use. And I will just show you here. So if I go into um, managing licenses and packages, um, I added like all, <laughs> all I could find. Uh, no, not really, but, um, I did go into multi-domain licenses here because let's see here. So I think it's this one that you need to have the add on licenses for five domains. Um, I believe so at least, but the strange thing is it was not allowing me to create this, even that I had these ones that was like for 50 gateways unlimited whatsoever, but this one included global policy blade. And I think that was the one that was missing. So if we go back here, uh, we see here now that we have the, the log server up and running. Uh, sync failed. This will fix itself. At least I hope so. It should do. Uh, but we can try to... We can try to, to sync it just to see how it looks. Um, but that's how you create the, the MLM server or the, the CLM on the MLM. And to actually utilize this, so we see here that it was synchronized correctly. So this one will be removed in a while uh, now. So just go into right click here because we want to change the VS to actually use this log server as well. Because as a normal log server, you still need to change on the, the gateway or the VS to, to forward the logs to the specific log server that you want to have it to. And just as a reference, you're unable to select like a amount of gigabyte per customer. So if you go back here, you are not able to like select like this one should have 100 gigs of log space. This should have 100 gigs of log space. All of them are sharing the same disk. So you are able to do some configuration. And if you right click on this one and do edit, then you have log settings. Here you have the general one that is applied for all of the CLMs across the board. So here you have the free disk space and so on. You have the advanced settings, meaning create um, create new log files if they are over a specific size and so on. Uh, but in in general, I would like checkpoint to like allow you to specify a disk space amount for this specific customer. The way that you can do it now in R81, and you could do it in R77.30, but you're unable to do it in the R80 series. And that is to add not an MLM, but to add a log server to a specific customer, because then it's on a dedicated machine, and then you can have that to a specific space that you want. That will be a lot more pricier than to use an MLM, because an MLM you, you add like log instances, and they are quite cheap, but if you're going to have a dedicated log server, because you need to have dedicated space for a specific customer, or a specific part, then you need to buy a log license for a log server, a complete server. 
So this is more expensive. So I think that Checkpoint should add at least options to have like a gigabyte per uh, CLM, but it doesn't exist today. Um, you are of course able to do it with like Chrome jobs and so on, but it would not be an exact science, but you can at least like save more days for a specific one and you can zip them or send them away to a different log server and so on. So I mean, there are ways around it, but it would be really nice if Checkpoint actually add like a amount of gigabyte per CLM. Um, okay, enough rambling about that. So if we go into sex series or one, then we need to go to the VS01. This is uh, the gateway for the customer or for the specific part. Then you need to go into logs. And here you will see that it's forwarding, first of all, to the CMA. And we don't want to forward it to the CMA. We want to forward it to the log server. So we do the red button here, delete, and then plus, And we will have the log server. And then if the log server is down, you still want to have the logs. You don't want to have the logs on the gateway itself. So then you do the plus here and you select the CMA. So the first option for the VS will be to send it to the log server. And the second option would be to send it to the CMA. And the second part that I always recommend that you do is to uh, here uh, check over the settings if there is something that you want to, uh, want to do. Um, but this, for example, log forwarding. Um, if the um, if the gateway doesn't reach both of these then it will save to the specific gateway locally and then you can have a schedule to forward the logs to the log server and this is what we're doing now so we forward all the logs to the log server at midnight and then we want to create a new log file on every midnight as well and then just press ok and this will do the communication to the VSX uh, cluster, so to say. And if you didn't know this, I will show this uh, later on. But when this is doing like this, it's actually locking the VSX object in the main 01 uh, database. And this is why more or less you needed to have the VSX cluster in a separate domain when you're running R77.30, because if not, you will lock the complete, uh, well, the complete server. So let's press OK here, uh, like this. And I always try to install the policy uh, to apply the settings. And I also install the database on both the log server and management station. I don't know if that's necessary, but I just do it out of, I don't know. I have always done it, so I continue to do it. Uh, what I mean with that is um, this one, install database. So install. Um, if it's necessary, I don't really know. Um, I hope so. Uh, so it has been installed on the CMA on, on the log server. So if we now go into the logs and monitor, uh, and we go to the logs, then you... Um, you may not see like new logs here. And what you need to think about then at, at least the first time is that you go into log server and you select both of them. Because if you like remove this one, you will not see the old logs. So now you only see the new logs. And if you don't have this one, meaning the new one, the log server, then you will not see the new logs. So um, make sure to have both selected. And I mean, you can do select all uh, down here. And just as a reference, it's the same on the MDS level. So if you go to logs and monitor on the MDS level and logs, you will have it under log server here if it's um, enabled or not. So here you can see all the log servers and all the CMAs and so on. Um, and if you unselect something, you will not see the logs format. Um, and I hope you already, I hope I already mentioned it, but from the MDS, you can see the logs from all the different CMAs and all the different log servers. So this is really powerful. If you have a large environment and you send traffic back and forward between different VSs for some reason. 
So if we log into the MLM, we can go to MDS stat, same as the MDS, and we see the, the log server here. Uh, it's called CMA here. I would expect it to call CLM, but I don't know. Maybe maybe it's a GUI issue. Uh, MDS env, and then you select the IP 192.168.1.132. And then you do MCD to actually change it. And you see here that it's changing to this specific customer. Here's the customer. Then you can do PVD if you want to see it like the full directory. Um, if you do LS here, you see uh, the stuff for, for this specific CLM. And you see here, log. So if we do CD log and LS here, you will be able to see the log files for this specific customer here. Um, we just changed this, so there is currently no log files here. But if we go to um, the MDS, We'll do the same, uh, MDS stat, and then we do um, MDS M, and we'll take this IP address for the customer. MCD to change it, CD log, and we do LS. Here you see the log files. The log files is the ones with the date on. So this is the logs. Um, and you of course have firewall log. That's the existing uh, uh, log file as well. And if you want to see like sizes of anything in this direction, you do ls minus lh. Then you can see the, the file size in human readable form. Uh, like, uh, I don't know, we don't have anything big here. Um, so this is like kilobyte and uh, in a real environment, it would be gigabyte or at least megabyte. And if we do the same here, so ls minus lh, you can see here the, the firewall log, where was it? Here, 14k. Uh, so it just updated two minutes ago. I don't know if we, we can see it grow. So watch. I don't know if we would see it grow. Yeah, 15k. So so it's actually increasing. That's the log file for this specific one. Um, what command is to see an update every two seconds uh, by default? You can, of course, change this, but um, I don't know. Maybe that was too much CLI for, for, this, uh, for this video. Let me know if you think it's too much or too little or too, too simple. I don't know. Um, but in general, I think this is quite cool. So this is something that I use a lot and you are able to have multiple MLMs if you need to. Uh, as I have said in a previous video, I don't recommend you to have more than let's say 50 or 70 CMAs uh, in a specific server because it takes too long time to upgrade. So you are able to split it out on multiple management stations. You are able to split it out on multiple MLMs, but you need to upgrade all at once. So if you have a maintenance window and you need to upgrade from like R80.30 to R80.40, you need to upgrade all the MDS servers. So if you have more than, let's say, if you have more than 25, it will start to take a long time. And 50 or 70, it will take the full maintenance window. Um, I mean, the maximum that you can have by license or by design from Checkpoint is like 250. I don't know anyone that is running 250, but maybe one of you guys are. Uh, I have seen like 150. And if you're running 150, at least for this specific um, environment, it took like 30 minutes, 45 minutes to, to only boot up the server. And this was a fat box. I mean, 256 gig plus in, in uh, memory and a lot of CPUs. So... Um, you are able to have large environments, but I would not recommend you to have over like 50 or 70. So that's it for this video. I hope you did like it and um, thank you for watching. Uh, please comment what you want to see next and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.